Hello guys, Oscar Hotel 8, Sierra Tango November here from Survival Tech Nord. Today we have a quick technical video for you with the ZLP Mini Pro SC audio interface. We're going to show you how to get that set up and working on Ubuntu Linux with FL Digi. It's easy enough, anybody can do it, and uh, in about 10 minutes you'll be up and running. Alright, stick with me, and let's get started. You are listening to the emergency broadcast systems. This station broadcasts emergency news and official information on the air for assigned... If you're anything like me, when you first started to combine Linux computing with amateur radio, you were probably frustrated by the lack of good video tutorials on the net. Well, let's see if we can do something to change that. From an FLDG perspective, this video is relevant to both the ZLP Mini Pro SC and the Signalink USB. All right, let's go. The very first thing we're going to do is connect the ZLP Mini Pro SC to the Yaesu FT817 or other radio's data port. Then we'll connect the USB port from the Mini Pro SC to a spare USB port on your laptop. Let's go ahead and do that. The Mini DIN port on the ZLP Mini Pro SC will go to the data port on your radio. The USB port on the Mini Pro SC will go to a spare USB port on your netbook or laptop. There's often some confusion between the data port and the CAT port. On the FT817, 857, 897 and other Yaesu radios, the data port is used for your audio interface. The CAT port is what we use for controlling the radio through software like FL Digi. If you're going to control your rig through FL Digi and you have the correct interface cable for it, we can go ahead and connect that too. The FT817 has a couple of menu settings that we need to adjust so that everything works correctly. We're going to go ahead and power it up. Long press on the function button so that you can get into the menu settings. We're specifically looking for menu 25 and menu 26. Menu 25 is the digital mic gain for the data input output on the back of your rig. I've got mine set to 40, that works for me, but you may have to test to see what works for you. Menu 26 is the digital mode setting. I have mine set for user USB. Since most digital communications on amateur radio take place on upper sideband, using user U will automatically put the radio in upper sideband when you select digital as the mode on your radio. Now you can go back to the main menu and we'll continue with the setup. You'll save yourself a lot of frustration if you follow the steps that I'm showing you now. With your ZLP Mini Pro SC connected and powered on, as well as your CAT control cable if you're using one, go ahead and open a terminal port, then type Lima Sierra Uniform Sierra Bravo. If you've done that correctly, you'll be given a list of the devices connected to your laptop. My audio interface is on bus 3, device 14, and it's the PCM2912 audio codec. And depending on what type of interface you're using for your CAT control, you'll find that there as well. Now we can close this window and go to FL Digi. So we're going to start by opening up FL Digi. We're going to click Configure and then Sound Card. When that opens, you're going to go to the Port Audio section and choose the appropriate port for your audio interface. Now the name might not be exactly the same, but it's close enough. USB Audio Codec. We'll select that for both playback and capture. Now we're going to scroll over to the right channel tab. 
At least on my configuration, I had to select push to talk on right audio channel in order to get the Mini Pro SE to activate the push to talk. You can test to see if your push to talk is working. If not, at least now you know where to find the setting to enable it. This final step is specific to the ZLC Mini Pro SC since it has no audio level controls on its casing. At the lower right of the FLTG screen you'll see a section called Transmit Audio Attenuator if you hover your mouse over it. Using the ALC meter on your rig, we're going to use the Transmit Audio Attenuator's up and down buttons to adjust the audio level on your rig until we have no bar or one bar on the ALC of your rig. Sometimes operators believe more or louder audio will produce more signal, but in actuality it simply produces more noise. Food for thought. So there we go guys, that was the final step. Now before you jet out away from the video, take a look at these other related videos that I have up on the screen. And finally, if you think I deserve it, please give me a thumbs up, comment and share this video with someone who you think might find it interesting or enjoyable. Alright guys, rock and roll. Ciao.